What would you do if someone offered you the keys to the largest single level apartment in the Southern Hemisphere? For me, I'd be saying, where are all my mates at? Because I'm about to throw a big ass party. But then I remembered I'm an adult, a working professional who's got a job to do. So instead of partying like it's 1999, I'm gonna take you inside on your own personal tour of this epic $46 million apartment, because that's the kind of gal I am. You're welcome. Welcome to my home. There is so much to talk about in this space. I don't even know where to begin. But first of all, look at the size of this dining table. It can sit 12 people and these were all custom made because they are just so big. Beautiful, soft, incredible details. Oh, cheeky amaze. Hello, just casually sit by the fireplace. Oh, it's very cozy in here. Let's go through here and see what we've got. Here's the office. This is where you get your girl boss on. I mean, oh, I feel like this is what life is all about, isn't it? We're looking out over the gardens, getting stuff done, roaring fire. Yeah, this is really, really cool. But that view, I've got to get closer to that view. Incredible. Look at this. I mean, I've seen these gardens in the city before, but never like this. This is next level. Let's go to the front. Would you look at this? Barbecue. This is a setting for an epic outdoor party. Which leads you out. Back into, hello. Into your informal dining room, kitchen, and informal living room. Of course there's a grand piano. Thank you. This is pretty amazing. That view is phenomenal. And then look at the size of that fiddle. Why wouldn't you be happy? You're living in luxury, getting a beautiful amount of light here. Fire, which is all open plan, leads you back into this dining area. This kitchen is pretty cool. Let's check out the fridge. Oysters. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Mm. Very good. I'll come back for those later. Master sweet time, you ready? Oh my gosh, it is so incredibly warm in here. You've got the fireplace going. And we've got curtains, shall we try? I can't even begin to imagine what it would be like waking up in this room every day. And then what have we got around here? All right, ladies, you ready? Look at this, I mean, ah, oh, is this not how life is just meant to be lived? This is incredible. I love this home, so good. Okay, what have we got through here? The master spa. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna have to get in it. You know I do. This is spectacular. All that's missing is a glass of bubbles. Look at the plush rug that's in the middle of this bathroom. All marble. So incredible. You've got toilet through here, and then you've got showers through here. But we've got not one, not two, three, four, we've got five shower heads in there. And, oh my God, heated towel rails. Oh, it doesn't take much to impress me, but those are, oh my gosh, really impressive. <laughs> two sinks, of course. I mean, this is a master suite. You're not gonna have one sink. That's not how it rolls. Oh, all right, shall we go take a look at the rest of the house?
we've got another walk-in robe. Very cool, which leads into, oh yeah, we've got a bedroom. So this is the second bedroom. A very generous sized tub. <sighs> Amazing. Huge, huge walk-in robe. This is insane. Guest bedroom, this is bedroom number three. Again, beautiful bathtub. I'd love to be a guest in this apartment. Come on. This is very special. A beautiful custom table, eight sides. Quite important, we'll get to that later. But wait, oh my goodness. Your very own meditation room. <sighs> yep, it's official. I'm calm. We are not done yet. We got another bedroom. All right, so this is the fourth bedroom. Again, looking out onto incredible views, but this has got some seriously pimping walk in rows. Beautiful big bath. You can hear the echo. <laughs> oh. Oh, I like this one. I like this one a lot. And look at this fun walk-in row. This is just... This is gonna be really hard going home to my place now. There's a few more things I need to show you. Hidden laundry. Very important, hide it away. No one needs to see it. Oh, second kitchen for the caterers. When you're entertaining, you don't wanna know they're around. I love it. So, so clever. Shut the doors, hide it away. We're back out into the formal dining space. Look at this incredible artwork. I've got one last thing I want to show you. You ready? Ah! Your very own private movie cinema. I mean, this is just the best. Watch a movie. Oh, eat some popcorn. Oh, so, so good. Oh, and you got a cheeky bath. Oh, there's some good stuff in there. Speaking of bars, I did spy a bar. Let's go have a look. What have we got in here? What do you reckon? The good stuff? They won't even notice it's gone. Look at this incredible crystal. Ah, that's dumb. Making me work for it. You ready? Don't spill in the fancy pad. All right, let's go take a seat. Okay, let me break this down for you. This home is 1,400 square metres. Now, if you're not good at your square metre math, let's just say that's really, really big. This home has four bedrooms, four walk-in robes, four bathrooms, a spa, a powder room, two kitchens, three living areas, two dining rooms, plus an outdoor dining area, two galleries, an office, a bar, and your very own private cinema. Plus, if that just gets all a little bit too much for you, you can just chill out in your very own meditation room. Do I get everything? And you enter via your own private lift because front doors are for suckers. So I had the pleasure of meeting the owner of this apartment and I've got to say, she is a dead set legend. She has been living in this apartment for 10 years and there were two things that she said she really fell in love with when she saw this apartment. Personally, I can think of more than two. But the first thing that she said was the views. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. It's a north facing apartment. It looks out over onto Fitzroy Gardens and the beautiful skyline of Melbourne. You were so high up, but yet you're not too high. You actually feel like you're cruising 
cruising on top of the trees. It is really something truly, truly special. The second thing that she really loved about this home was the feng shui. It had a really beautiful flow to this apartment and that was something that was really important to her. Feng shui was also really important to my mum circa 1999 when she made me change around all the elements in my room to guarantee us good fortune. But that's another story. I got to admit, before coming here, when I found out I was going to be walking through the largest apartment in the history of mankind, I kind of thought it was just going to be ridiculously huge, over the top, and just a little bit too much. But I gotta say, it's actually really cozy. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of OTT, but it totally works in this context. The owner worked a lot with the interior designer, Stuart Rattle, and she basically gave him freedom to do whatever he wanted. She had complete trust in him, but she did wanna make sure that the overall feeling of this apartment was classic, it was elegant, and she also loved gold, and I love that. There is a beautiful attention to detail. Every single piece in this home has been highly considered. A lot of the interiors in this home have actually been custom made because of the space and because it is so large. There are these beautiful custom rugs which are made from New Zealand wool. The plushest of plush cashmere and silk couches. That incredible dining table with those chairs and just those beautiful little details of gold and emblems and signatures. And that's actually the other thing. There's a lot of meaning in the interiors of this space. You'll notice in the rugs, there's actually a beautiful infinity pattern. There's that eight-sided custom table in those galleries. There's two of them. And that actually links back to the Chinese philosophy of I Ching. And you'll notice those eight sides are often reflected, not just in the tables, but they're reflected in the pendants as well. They're reflected in the mirror behind me. You can tell that there's just a lot of history and respect to culture. And I think that just makes this place really special. I love how unapologetic this house is. I mean, we have got to talk about that movie cinema. You can hang out with all your mates, have a movie marathon. It's so incredibly cool. The master suite is a total dream. I can't even begin to think about what it must be like waking up inside that space every single morning. That walk-in room, that dressing room, the spa. I have no words. Yeah. I was trying to think of a way to describe this apartment to you, but I've honestly got to say, I can't really compare it to anything. There is seriously nothing like this in the world. This apartment is so unique. It's got views that look out to the Dandenongs, to the city, to the MCG, and right through to the bay. It's completely in a leg of its own. Hey guys, thanks for watching this epic Let Us In Home tour. I wanna know what you think, so leave me a comment below. Make sure you like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel because we've got way more home tours coming. Cheers. Dom Perignon, drinking Dom Perignon. Everybody knows I'm drinking Dom Perignon. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I could get used to this. <laughs>